After Effects 2025 is comes with big features this year, and now we can use realistic 3D models in After Effects and make a cinematic visual effects or advertisement videos. In today's video, I'll show you how to add realistic 3D models, set up scenes, work with lighting, camera tracking, and compositing. Plus, I'll share some useful tips and tricks to help you get the best results. So without further ado, let's get started. We are in After Effects. I want to explain some basic things before moving forward. So I quickly import a dinosaur 3D model. This is our GLB file. Just for your information, a GLB file is a 3D file format that stores 3D models, textures, animations, and other assets. After importing, simply select the layer and drop it here. It will automatically create a new composition and you'll see this model settings box. Here, you can resize the model if it's too big. You just need to click this and it will be converted to comp size like this. You can also change its size using the object scale properties. After clicking OK, our 3D model is placed into the composition. As we all know, we can rotate this model 360 degrees according to our scene. But the benefit of the GLB file is that it comes with pre-made animations, which we'll talk about later. Another interesting thing is that if I add a light in this composition, for example, I select a point light for now. When I move this light, it interacts with our 3D model. I am doing this in real time, in full resolution, and it's looking so smooth. By using different lights, we can create many different scenes and looks. For example, if I change this point light to an environment light, we get some extra features in this composition. We can change the direction of lights using these X and Y rotation properties. And we don't need to set up a complicated lighting setup. Also, under the light options, you'll find a source option where you can add your own custom HDR texture. Let me show you how you can do it. First, I import an HDR image file. By the way, you can download 4K HDR files from the link in the description below. After importing, simply add this to the timeline. This is our 4K HDR texture. Now we need to change the source from default to this file. Now the reflection map is our 4K texture file. We can rotate this as well to create our desired look. Now, I'll show you the best part. If I go under Animation Options, here I have some pre-made animations for this dinosaur. For example, I select Attack, and now the 3D dinosaur is alive. But it's not finished yet. We can rotate this 3D model according to our scenes, and the animation stays the same. This is a game changer for short advertisement video makers or beginner visual effects artists. Alright, so I've explained all the basics of GLB files and After Effects new features. Now, it's time to have some real fun with this and show you the advanced techniques. I have some video footage, which you can download from the link in the description. After importing the footage, simply drag and drop it here it will create a new composition for you. This is our video footage, and as you can see, it's very long. I only need a five second clip, so I trim this comp to the work area. Now, we have a five second video footage. Next, we need to track this video. If you don't see the tracker panel, simply go to Window, and under this, you'll find the Tracker option. To track this video, click on Track Camera, and the tracking will start. You can see the tracking speed here and also estimate how much time it will take. After tracking, you'll see colorful X-shaped icons. These are our tracking points. Just play the video and find the best place in the video. Then, find a good spot. In my case, this one is good. So I right-click and choose Create Solid and Camera. After that, you can see a square, solid shape sticking to the ground and it's not moving. That means our tracking is perfect. Now it's time to add our 3D model to our scene. But before that, I'd like to tell you about my favorite website for 3D models. For example, I search 
T-Rex, and it shows me a bunch of different dinosaurs. For now, I'll go with this one. You can see it's showing me an animation preview, as well as different pre-made animations. You can also inspect how they made the models, including bones, rigging, textures, maps, and other details. Once you're satisfied with the model, simply click to download and make sure you select the GLB file. I already downloaded various models, so let's import one of them into After Effects. After importing, drag and drop it into the timeline, then click OK. Now, we need to place the model at the green solid. To do this, first, open the position properties of both layers, then copy the X, Y and Z values of the solid layer and paste them into the model's position properties. Then, increase the size of the model and check the video. After that, I rotate the model like this and now it looks perfect. Next, add a new light. This is going to be an environment light and make sure the cast shadows checkbox is turned on. This light gives a great look to our model. After that, we need to add an HDR environment file. At this point, I recommend you check out this website for high quality HDR images. I already downloaded some, so let's go back to After Effects. After importing, simply add it to the timeline Open the light menu and under light options, change the source to this 4K HDR file. Now, our model looks much more natural and realistic than before. Let's adjust the light position to blend with the video. Under transform, there are two rotation properties, so I adjust them to get the best look possible. But wait, we can't see the shadow of this model. Let me show you how to add shadows. First, increase the size of this solid then select the model layer and go to the 3D menu. Open the renderer options and click fit to scene. Now the shadow is visible in our scene. Now we can easily change the light direction using the shadow. In this scene, sunlight comes from this direction and the shadow appears like this. So we just match the environment. This setting looks good to me, so I move forward. Next, open the solid properties and under material options you'll find accept shadows simply change it to only and there you go we have a realistic shadow in our scene it's time to turn on the 3d models animation so i go to the layer properties and under animation options i select this one because this model only has one pre-made animation let's see the preview it's very heavy to preview, so what you need to do is click this Draft 3D button. It will show you a fast preview with fewer details and without shadows. So, the animation looks good. Let's see the final preview. Wow, that looks so real and cinematic, right? Lastly, I'd like to give you a bonus tip. What if I want to replace this 3D model with another one? Well, we can do that too. First, import the new 3D model you want to use. Then, select the existing model, hold Alt and drag the new model onto this one. And the existing model is replaced with the new one. Of course, the light may be too bright for this one, but we can easily adjust the light intensity. You can see the animation works perfectly. So, that's how you can use 3D animated models in After Effects without any plugins. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, consider buying me a coffee. Your support makes a big difference and helps me keep creating awesome content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.